Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with a channel tarot card message for you today. We're going to dive into your messages today intuitively to see what the universe has to say in regards to your current energies, what's coming towards you, what's the therapeutic advice from your angels today. We're using the Hoodoo Tarot. See what the universe wants to channel through the Cardomancy. All right, hopefully you're enjoying your day so far, setting your attentions, you know, being productive. Let's see what the universe has to say in regards to your energies. Scorpio, what's coming towards the water sign today, spirit? What messages do we have for the water sign? Or shuffle. Water sign messages for Scorpio today, spirit. What do we got? What's the message? All right, here we go. All right, your first message. Grounding your reading, eight of coins. Be very busy working here scorpio minding your business right the business that pays you son of knives while people are spying on you researching this could be you learning something though uh putting in a lot of effort to increase your knowledge or your perception of something six of sticks mm -hmm. this could even be um adventure here maybe you're some sort of a what do they call those people on YouTube, that venture that goes out to places, uh, an adventure, ab abandoned places, it could be something like that, or you're probably an outdoorsy person. Big Queen, the Empress, Ooh. the Divine Feminine, so spiritually divine here. All right, uh, yeah, this could be with Eight of Coins ground in the reading. You obviously. Some sort of a breakthrough. This could be a financial success, getting accolades, a promotion. You have someone scrutinizing your work here. Nine of sticks. Defensiveness, anxiety here. Being uh, physically distraught or um, scarred. Nine of wands. That is spiritual protection, however, right? When you go through all these scars and all these triggers, you know what it is that you want and what you don't want, and you know how to guard and protect yourself. That's why she has both physical and spiritual protection here. Right? We think the, the damaged people in the world are the people that we should forget, and we don't even realize that pastor that you're sitting in front, in front of every day, they were once a gangster at some point. That billionaire successful guru that you're sitting in front of was poor at some point, right? And we know what we say about these people, even lawyers. I'm a Libra, but you know what they say about lawyers? They're synonymous with liars. <laughs> Devil's advocate, anyone? We have son of sticks. Yeah, so someone very, um, I'm getting entertaining. Okay, so they're very artistic as well, or they're very, uh, okay, very photogenic as well. Okay, so we could have someone with a small side business, son of sticks and son of uh, knives. Yeah, they go out taking, maybe they paint nature or they take pictures of nature. Mm. I'm getting Warhol paintings as well. I'm not sure why I'm getting Warhol. We have uh, the chariot showing up here. Dealing with a cancer. Could be researching new homes. Or looking up uh, places to live here. Again, this would be transportation. Cancers are about the home life. It comes on top of Sun and Eyes, which would be looking on the internet or spying or learning. So someone's looking up places or looking up cars, possibly. Ten of sticks, yeah, they're wanting to ground themselves and drop burdens. Wanting to rest. It comes on top of six of sticks. So this could be after some sort of a journey here. The big queen. Ten of cups. Very abundant individual here. Mm, very financially stable. Mm -hmm. You have wish fulfillment coming towards you in regards to finances and success. Could be some sort of a talent that you have or developing. This could be someone coming towards you um, possibly with a gift. We'll see. Daughter of Knives. They're wanting to deliver some sort of a message to you. This could be some sort of a proposal. The Knight of Swords usually has a lot to say, some sort of a message. So it probably a speech in regards. Okay, so someone's telling you their whole life story here. What else do we have? Six of Knives on top of the Son of Sticks. 
-hmm. Yeah, uh, this is moving away from something. Mm, I would say running away, but this is moving away from something. Someone could be trying to get mental clarity here, move away from toxicity. They're adventuring and they're exploring here. Divine feminine energy here. Mm -hmm. They're well accepted, well appreciated. They're very creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is divine energy. What's the other major arcana? Railroad bill, yeah. People are going to be paying to see this person wherever they show up to. What do we have? These six of knives, six of sticks. We got a lot of synchronicities. Yeah, this person is on some sort of a pilgrimage or adventure. They're trying to release some sort of a toxicity. This could be sexual tension and frustration here. Mm -hmm. They're very creative, though. If they're a content creator, they have a lot of ideas that they can manifest abundance from, right? Channel that sexual energy into some sort of a creative passion project here. Mm -hmm. I know we're overly obsessed with love and sex and all that sort of thing. It's great. It's good to go. If you're serious about what you're serious about, all the more for it. If you're not serious about what you're serious about or you say you're serious about. Like some people hold virginity. Like me, I wanted to lose my virginity to another virgin. But after five years of not being able to find a virgin, it's like I was forced to find something. Not forced, but, you know, you want to have that experience at some point. So I pretty much did everything that they say, oh, you're, you're not supposed to do until you're 21. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't lose my virginity to a 29-year-old whore. I lost my... <laughs> it was another someone that was actually younger than me. Two years younger than me. So... Yeah, how many bodies could have she actually had, right? <laughs> Compared to the girls nowadays that have no integrity. But that is what I have for you. Someone's reaching. Uh, yeah, they're reaching towards you. Yeah, they're researching. They're spying on you and they're wanting to come towards you. This is some sort of a sexual curiosity that they have. Very sexually triggered here. <laughs> they might be into dirty talk as well. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I have for you. Mother of knives, father of coin. Yeah, they're very successful, could be, or they have the uh, the potential to be very successful. A lot of nighttime activity, a lot of illusions. John Horse is even showing up as well, so your divine counterpart is on the way. That's what this is. They're, they got, they're locked on to you, pretty much. Or they could feel your energy or something like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of built-up sexual frustration. But that's what I have for you here today, Scorpio. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.